What's up, my divine people? It's Frank again, coming at you with some love, like always. And um, I was just thinking, I just realized I never really gave you the story of how I found out I was sick. And the reason why I say it that way is if you've watched my previous videos, sick sounds kind of um, like a negative word to me. And I do not look at anything in life I experienced at all as negative because it all brought you to the beautiful place or brought me and you and everybody. Everything from our past brings us to the beautiful place where we are right now. And right now is beautiful. Uh, believe me, you're beautiful. Everything is beautiful. We are all beautiful. And... Anything that you change will change where you are right now. Anyways, I'm going to not waste too much time on that and get into my story. i take it back to 2016, April 2016. I had some incredible pains in my stomach. It was, uh, I believe it was a Thursday night, very late going, I'm sorry, very late Wednesday going to Thursday morning, probably about 2 in the morning actually. So I called out sick on Thursday. Thought it was just, you know, like a, a virus or whatever, a little bug or whatever. Uh, Friday rolls around, same, sick, can't make it in, had to call it. And it's basically the same thing, the, the, the stomach issue. And it rolls over into Saturday now. And it gets so bad that I can't even walk to the bathroom by myself. My son has to help me get to the bathroom. So, and I didn't realize that during that three-day stretch, I actually was only peeing and I wasn't doing anything else but peeing but I was in so much pain I didn't realize anything else and then when we got to the hospital we decided to go to the emergency room uh, Bayonne Hospital when we got there after discussing everything with the doctor and letting him know what my symptoms were we all kind of figured out at once that I wasn't going to the bathroom and that was basically a problem so they believed there was something uh, blocking me from being able to go to the bathroom but whatever it was, was too small to be picked up on any test. They gave me like three or four tests, MRIs, things like that. They couldn't find it. So they suggested exploratory surgery to try to find out what was in there. And I was actually all for that. I was never sick before. I was a healthy guy, worked out three to four days a week, either at home or at the gym, very active, ate pretty healthy. So I was a healthy guy. Never experienced a hospital, didn't want to be there, so I wanted to get out. I was like, yes, do the exploratory surgery and let's find out what it is. But the surgeon didn't want to perform the surgery. He said that it was unnecessary. I'm a young guy, I'm going to have scar tissue and it's going to cause other problems. And that by tomorrow, he guarantees I'm going to be able to go to the bathroom and go home. And lo and behold, that is what happens. The next day I go to the bathroom a couple times. It had to be a couple of times before they let me go home. They examine me. They say I'm all good. They send me home, but they want me to come back for a couple more tests, like a few tests, actually. So I go back. They give me another MRI. They give me a couple of tests that involve one camera going down my throat, one camera coming up the backside. Thank God I was sleeping for that. I didn't have to experience that. It didn't sound too comfortable. But um, anyways, can't find anything with those either. So they, the doctor says that he does believe that I have a small tumor or Crohn's disease. And he wants me to come back again now to get the exploratory surgery. This is a different doctor, not the doctor who said no. But at this point, I'm done with doctors. I'm like, I'll give you your chance. No, you didn't find it. I start talking to a buddy of mine who was a nutritionist, telling him everything that happened to me. He tells me, hey, Frank, it's just your diet. Don't worry about it, especially since they didn't find anything and I'm not blaming anybody at all. Don't worry about it, it's your diet. He's a vegan. You know, you've been eating bad your whole life. This is why you feel this way. That's what's in your stomach because now I could kind of feel something. It's starting to grow. So anyways, I start seeing uh, ac acupuncturists as well, someone that he knew, and I change up my whole diet. I'm very close to, to vegetarian at this point. I'm not eating any meat, I'm taking a bunch of stuff to flush me out. So I'm losing some weight, and that's what I'm attributing it to. Oh, okay, my diet changed up. That's why I'm losing so much weight. I'm not eating meat, and I'm not feeling that well, but I'm also saying, okay, you know what, it's the change of diet, I'm not getting, uh, you know, the, the um, protein and other things that I used to get from, from meat at this point. That's, that's, that's my mind state. Now, along with the lack of energy and feeling sick, now I actually started having blood in my urine. So this is when we decide, all right, you know what, as a family, um, 
my fiance at the time, now she's my wife and my son. Let's go to the hospital, but avoid Bayonne Hospital, okay? So we go to Jersey City Medical Center. We get to Jersey City Medical Center. And mind you, this gap is pretty big. This went down in like April with Bayonne. So then May, June, very late June, like June 30th, I go into the hospital. And basically, right on the spot, I have to have emergency surgery. Uh, I'm sorry, not emergency surgery yet. Uh, emergency blood transfusion. I, I lost a mass, massive amount of blood because now at this point, the tumor actually turned the size of a softball. So I had the emergency blood transfusion and the very next day, I had to have the tumor removed. And um, they did a wonderful job with that. They removed the tumor. I, a tumor, I explained to you that I had to have the ostomy bag. Um, and I explained to you in an earlier video how I wanted it to make sure it could be removed. And that was part of me getting better by me seeing myself getting better first. Um, so they do great. They get rid of that for me. The only problem is they don't have a cancer center. So I'm in the hospital unable to get treatment for the cancer. And because of how much, how big and how much of my small intestines had to be removed, I'm in pretty bad shape so I can't even move out of bed. That combination, that I'm a swelling up as well because that's what the lymphoma does. I was swelling. I, I look like the state puff man. Um, it, was, it was sick. Couldn't get out of bed. Because of that, I developed blood clots in both of my lungs and both of my legs. And it was getting really, really scary. So we did some homework. We found New York Presbyterian. I knew because I've worked in the city for 30 years now. And I knew that New York had the better hospitals concerned as far as cancer is concerned. So we did a research, found New York Presbyterian. They were welcoming me without having to get doctor's consent from here, which they were refusing to do for whatever reason. So one night when they gave me the medication for my, my blood clots, which lasts for, I believe, three to four hours, we decided to, to bounce, head to New York City, signed myself into New York Presbyterian, had to start the whole process all over again, emergency room, get diagnosed, all of that stuff. Um, night and day, as far as hospitals concerned, and I'm not trying to put the other ones down, but it was night or day. I could feel it the second I got in there. And that's when everything started to actually turn around when I started getting treated for the cancer. Um, and in my next video, I'll go into how everything started merging. My mindset and where I was mentally, now actually with a hospital that could, that could meet that. And it was beautiful. Love came in. Everything just came in. And again, it was a blessing. And here I am to tell you that everything you experience in life is actually a blessing. But you have to take it that way. It's your perception. I love you guys. Peace. I'll see you on the next video.